Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the fourth video in the Spelling You Workshop series. This video is going to be about words from French. At the beginning of the last video, I mentioned that there are 13,537 Greek words in the Merriam-Webster's Third New International Unabridged Dictionary. There are about 17,300 French words in the dictionary. So expect to see a lot of words with at least some French origin occurring in the spelling bee. So when you think of France and French culture, these are some images that might pop into your head. These are images that I provided in the workshop a couple summers ago. You have the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France on a map, the Louvre, and a couple other cultural entities, things like baguettes and cheese and grapes. But let's start by taking a look at some words. French words are all about pronunciation you need to be able to connect the pronunciation of the sound that you hear with what the actual letter combinations are going to be. So here, I'll tell you a little bit about some letter combinations and how they're spelled and pronounced, and connect it back with some pictures. Like this slide, where there are two words, panache and ganache, that mean vastly different things. Panache means dash or flamboyance in style or action, swagger or verb. Whereas ganache is the sweet, creamy chocolate mixture that's used as a filling or a frosting in cakes. You have someone with a flamboyant mustache on the left. Sir Charles' mustache is a symbol of his panache. And over here you have a chocolate ganache cake. So, with this introduction, let's take a look at some roots in French, what they mean, and how you can use those to sort of figure out through those puzzle pieces what you're going to be spelling. In French, an act or an action is often attributed to the letter combination A-D-E. For example, a barricade or a blockade, when it's used as a verb, means to block off or stop up a street or a passage. Similarly, a balotade is a forward leap performed by a horse. A cannonade is a firing of artillery. And an escapade is an adventurous action or a daring act. Somewhat unrelated, but with the letter B, boise is the root for wood. Boiserie means carved wood paneling, and reboise means to renew forested land by natural or artificial planting. Keep in mind that there's something kind of tricky about the way these words are pronounced. For example, this one is pronounced boiserie, not boiserie. So when you're at the spelling bee, you need to be able to connect that tricky sound that you hear with the way that the word's actually spelled. Similar to the odd, the ending of age is often an action or a process. So a word like badinage, that means light and playful repartee, wit, or banter. Bavardage means small talk and chit-chat. Balotage is a second ballot taken if the first vote is inconclusive, kind of like a runoffs. And cabotinage means a behavior befitting a second-rate actor. A cabotin is the singular noun for a second-rate actor. So cabotinage is the actions that that cabotin would perform. Similarly, the word badin means a joker or a fool. So badinage means Fooling around, essentially. So here's a, a situation where you realize that French is a Romance language. It's a descendant of Latin, and so there are going to be sort of similarities between these different languages. For example, bon in French, which means good, is similar to Latin ben, or Italian bene, or buono, which all mean good. So here, bon means good, bon appetit is wishing someone good health for a meal. A bonbon is a sweet right here. Bon voyage, wishing someone a safe, good journey. Bon bonnier, en bon point. This word in particular is interesting because this means in good condition. It means having plumpness of person. For example, a sentence could be, he was an elderly gentleman of dignified en bon point. Tricky words, because it's not pronounced the way that it's spelled. 
another suffix that indicates, in this case, someone who does something, is the ending EUR. An auteur, for example, is a film director with a distinctive style. A camoufleur is a person skilled in the technique of camouflage. That, like, camo, essentially, is another word that's important to know. A chanteur is a singer, especially of ballads. Literally, you could transcribe that as a chanter, someone who chants, but this is the French form of the word. A chauffeur is someone who transports people by driving a car. A coiffeur is a male hairdresser. And an interesting point where French converts the gendered forms of these verb or nouns is when you have a coiffeur, who is a male hairdresser, and a coiffeuse, who is a woman, who is a hairdresser. So the EUR turns it into an EUSE. The same thing happens, for example, when you have a masseur versus a masseuse. They're the gendered forms. One ends in an EUR, the masculine, and one ends in an EUSE, the feminine. You have a connoisseur, someone who is an expert in a subject. And you have an entrepreneur, someone who organizes, manages, and assumes the risks of a business or enterprise. A couple more roots here. The root monde means world. A demimonde is an isolated class, group, or activity. Literally half of a word. Think demigod, for example. Someone who is half god. The root monde comes from Latin mundus, which means world. It's related to the Latin word mundane, of this earth, of this world. Pays, on the other hand, has the meaning country. So, Paysage is landscape, the countryside that you would see if you're looking outside. A paysagist is a landscape artist, and paysan means prepared in countryside. It's an adjective used to describe certain foods. And here's a word ending, uh, eri, which is things done in a particular way or a particular way of doing things. Camaraderie is a spirit of friendly fellowship. Bijouterie is a collection of trinkets or ornaments. Chinoiserie means a style in art reflecting Chinese motifs or works of art that have Chinese motifs. Similarly, japoneserie means the artwork that has Japanese motifs. Boiserie is carved wood paneling. Charcuterie is a French deli selling cold cuts and meat. A confiserie is a shop where candies, cakes, and pastries are sold. The gendarmerie are a body of soldiers or police officers in France. And bizarrerie is a collection of items that have an odd, eccentric, or a bizarre quality. So here are a couple pictures to help you sort of process these words. L and et are often the diminutive forms of nouns. So basically something that's smaller, or that sort of diminutive connotation. An aquarelle is a painting. A canal is a ball of food. A passerelle is depicted here. A blanquette, a sauce, blanc, white, a white sauce. Epaulette, the military garments, the shoulder decorations. A brochette, food on a skewer. And here's some color words. Some of these you might be familiar with, like Burgundy, which is also a region. You have Aubergine, which is French for eggplant. That is the color of an eggplant. You have Puce, the sort of dark red color. Here you have two words, Framboise and Jacqueminot. Both of them mean slightly different variations on the same raspberry red. You have ponceau here, which is another red, and coquelicot, or coquelicot. Coquelicot is similar to the ending of the word matlow, over here, this blue. It's Olympian blue for the official color name. It's also similar in construction to the word peridot here, which can actually be pronounced peridot, but usually when we refer to it as a gemstone, you call it peridot. 
You have Jouvence here, which is baby blue, fittingly worn by a baby here. Verdigris, the color of oxidized copper, which is also the coating on the Statue of Liberty. You have Perouche, this bright parrot green. Teal here, not to be confused with teal, T-E-A-L. You have beige and a crew. Now for a couple food words. You're probably familiar with the word cuisine, a manner of preparing food or a style of cooking particular to any certain region. Delicatessen is the original word from where we get the abbreviation deli, if you've ever been to a store. A delicatessen is a store selling ready-to-eat food products like processed meats and sandwiches and cheeses. Hors d'oeuvres are various appetizers. A rotisserie is a shop where meats are roasted by rotating over heat. And a vinaigrette is a sauce made of vinegar, oil, and usually a bunch of herbs thrown in. And of course, French culture contains a lot of cheese, and so we have a lot of words in English about the cheese that we got from France. You have vacherin here. This word has the same sh, the C-H-E, as in words like panache and ganache that you saw on the first slide. Au gratin, over here, that's potatoes au gratin, basically grated. You have brie cheese here, you have camembert, chevre. Chevre is goat cheese, it comes from the root chevre, meaning goat. Canapé, this is a word with an accent on the E. When you're in a spelling bee, you don't have to say E with an accent or anything, you just have to spell the letter E and that's it. Just know that this A sound is actually that E. Neuchâtel, this is kind of like cream cheese. And Talmus, here. Which naturally brings us to a bunch of food words and food pictures. You have escargot, or snails. Ragout, think the pasta sauce, but spelled in the actual French method. Parfait, layered yogurt, croissant, brioche, and quiche. See again how brioche and quiche have that same sh with the C-H-E. And put that in a slide because there are just so many examples of it here. More food and wine words. Couli is a sauce that you can make out of fruits. Chablis is a kind of table wine. Chanterelle is a kind of mushroom. And champagne. In addition to food and cheese and these things, we also have many words that come from French that pertain to ballet. You have, these are depictions of these different positions or moves and things that you can do in ballet. You have a ballonet here. Again, you have an E with the accent as opposed to something like an E-T. Subrasso has an S-A-U-T for the O sound. Pirouette. Glissade a glide from one place to another, ciseaux, which is essentially scissors, danseur and danseuse, remember the gendered nouns. Fun fact, ballonet means essentially floating like a balloon. And back to some final endings. Mont is another ending that means an action or a process, and some good words to remember about this are, for example, rapprochement, establishment of cordial relations, bouleversement, overturning or reversal of something, débridement, surgical removal of contaminated tissue, a pole, a barricade of earth, it's kind of like a rough hill, and a ressentiment, deep-seated resentment, frustration, and hostility. You'll be able to see there in the word resentment how that looks really similar to ressentiment. That's because this is essentially just the French version of the word. It came into English and that's why we have it in our dictionary and we use it as a perfectly valid English word. You might be familiar with something else, but this one still exists and they can ask you uh, the word in the spelling bee. So, I hope that was helpful. Just a couple of French rules and French words. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the very next video.